I'm here at Bonnie's house. She's just bought a new property which is very original 80s and um, over the coming months we are going to be tackling every nook and cranny of this home to turn it into a really modern, bright, light, lovely, kind of scandy feeling home and one of the first things we're going to tackle is this internal brick wall. It's a lovely brownie kind of cappuccino colour and it's just one of the first things you see as you enter and it makes the whole space feel a lot darker and smaller than what it really is. So um, we love the texture and we want to keep that. So rather than using a solid paint, today we're going to be using one of the new monster washes and to start we'll prep the wall. To prep brick for painting it's a good idea to just get some sugar soap in warm water and a scrubbing brush and just scrub the wall down getting rid of any dirt. Um, or anything that could be on there and you know prevent the, the paint from adhering properly. Step after we've washed the wall is to uh, masking tape around the ceiling, the edges and the floor and put down plastic drop sheets so we don't ruin the flooring. So you just saw there what one coat of the colour wash looks like dried and you can imagine if you have a nice brick to begin with, like a red, one coat of the white or a grey wash would look gorgeous because you've got a thin coverage overall with some of that original brick still shining through. We however were working with a rather hideous brown and so having the brown shine through the grey was not a good look which is why we went ahead and did two coats. I'll do some close ups so you can see but the results are gorgeous. By using a wash rather than a paint we've been able to keep all of the gorgeous texture in the brick and the mortar. Washes, unlike paints, don't have a heavy white opaque base so it hasn't flattened or filled in the wall, it's just essentially tinted it a different colour. So we've been able to turn our 80s brown wall into a gorgeous on-trend grey which is so fitting for the rest of Bonnie's apartment. So I hope this video has inspired you to give the colour washes a go and they're not just for brick walls either, you can pop on over to the Monster DIY YouTube channel, we've got a link below. And you can essentially use all sorts of different application techniques from brush strokes to different types of rollers to create really gorgeous techniques on timber panel walls and even plasterboards too. Stay tuned for loads more renovation ideas and inspiration coming from Bonnie's Place over the coming months.